<laughs> Another reaction video. Let's jump right into it. I like this. I like their connection. I enjoy how nothing is like rushed, it's very smooth. Alright, so I like that. That is nice. Hey, uh, I like that one, man. I like their connection. I like how it was very smooth, very like suave. Eh? Um, I enjoyed that one. Let me know what y'all think about that. That reminds me of kind of like my smile, my style. Honestly, I'm not really too frantic on the dance floor. I like to be just smooth, calm, collected. So I actually like that. What do y'all think about video number one? Hey, okay. Hey, okay. Ooh. Musicality. Nice. Okay, okay. Ooh, that was fire. Oh, I like that one. That was cool. Um, please excuse me. For not having the dancers' names in this video, I definitely I apologize for that, man. I promise you, I'll have it in the next video. Uh, that was a performance practice dance video, man. I like that one. What y'all think about video number two? I I like that one. That was a that would have been a very nice performance. I would have been very excited to see that. Oh man, that was nice. It's a long way away. It's just me, Central Bachata. What do y'all what do y'all think about Central Bachata, man? Let me know in the comments. What do y'all think about Central Bachata? Is it utter and complete blasphemy or is it just the evolution of a dance? Um, my issue with Central Bachata is that it, in, to my understanding, it takes things from Brazilian Zouk and incorporates it into it, which is not an issue. But when you have the leader just standing there manipulating the follower's body, it really, it loses, uh, it's... It loses a portion of the dance, in my opinion. If at any point you're just stationary, not doing anything, I don't know. It, it loses the allure, the the beauty, the essence of the dance, in my opinion. That could just be me. Maybe I am being pretentious. Anything for you, anything, baby. I do not want to be enemies, baby. I would just much rather give you a baby and buy you a house so I live with you, baby. Don't stay with this new guy. I really go crazy. I really go crazy. I think about that one my opinion uh, medi 
mediocre, honestly, man. I know these two are popular dancers, but I don't know. That was just very mediocre to me, man. Um, it's very interesting how, you know, your past success can influence your current perception, if that makes sense to you at all. So real quick, um, I've had the lead on my show, Mr. Felician Rosa, great guy. If you love Kizuma, check out that interview. Um, I love C4 Pedro. This is the artist, man. I love C4 Pedro. I will say, though, man, I often find that Kizomba performances to be very boring. Very boring. Every once in a while, you'll see an amazing performance. But oftentimes, man, I just do not enjoy watching a Kizomba performance. <laughs> I'm sorry to stop it again. Kizomba, it's, it's one of those dances, if you've never done it before, it it may look like two people just walking around, but it it's, it's a something, it's like watching a baseball game. You have to do it to truly understand the joy. You know, watching baseball is incredibly boring, in my opinion, but playing the game is fun. Playing baseball is fun. Watching Kizomba is incredibly boring, but when you dance it, it is my my old teacher used to say there's this there's this feeling of like yumminess when you find that partner who you truly connect with and you're able to, as they say, you know, one song, one body, man. Um, it it can really make the dance something else, man. You really have to experience it for yourself. <laughs> Yeah, real quick video, man. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Let me know what y'all think.